Thank you for joining us today. Today, we're going to take a look at processing sales and shipments in Acumatica. Let's go ahead and take a look at our agenda. So we're going to enter a sales order. We're gonna create a shipment from that sales order, print shipment documents. Then we're gonna confirm the shipment. And from that shipment, we'll create an invoice. And then I'll show you what the invoice looks like as well. So what's interesting in Acumatica is that you can create a sales order, go pick the sales order, and then create a shipment. And as you create the shipment, it will take the items out of inventory, and then you can do the invoicing after that. So let's go ahead and take a look at Acumatica. Here we are in Acumatica, and I've gone to the distribution set and the sales order module. But actually, before we start with the sales order entry, I want to show you something. So I'm gonna to go to the configuration tab here and go to sales order preferences. And over here under posting settings, there's an option to automatically release the inventory documents. What this means is when we confirm that shipment out of sales order, it'll automatically take the items out of inventory. There's also an option to record non-invoiced amounts. So you can have a general ledger account number that is a holding place for the cost of the items that have been shipped prior to them being invoiced. So it's kind of like the purchases clearing account on the purchase order side. So instead of debiting the cost of goods sold when the item ships, it would debit this account. And then when you invoice, it would then credit this account and debit cost of goods sold. Then your cost match up based on when you're doing the invoicing because you can ship the items separately from doing the invoicing and that time difference can be significant. So if it is, they can account for that. Well, let's go ahead and go into sales order and I'm gonna create a new sales order. And as such, we'll just select a customer. Go ahead and accept all my default dates here. Go to the document details tab and add the item that we're selling. And I'm just gonna do a look up and select this Acer laptop computer. And we'll sell one of those. Now, when the cursor's in the quantity field, notice that on the bottom of the screen, it's gonna not only show us the quantity on hand, but the quantity that are available to ship. And in my case, the quantity available for shipping is 64. So we'll go ahead and do one. And go ahead and finish entering that line. And as we ship this, it will take the item out of inventory. But as we enter the line, it will reduce the quantity that's available for shipping as well. So when I save the order. So let's go ahead and save that. So now let's imagine that we've picked the items and now we're gonna come into actions and create a shipment. So this is now going to tell the system that we're shipping this sales order. So I'll say create shipment. So here's our shipment document. So we're saying from this sales order, we're gonna go ahead and ship this item. So we'll go ahead and print our shipment confirmation. This is what the shipment confirmation can look like. So after printing the shipment confirmation, we'll go back into the shipment screen and let's take a look at our actions. So now we're gonna confirm the shipment. So we're telling the system that we indeed, indeed ship these items. So now that has been confirmed. Our next action is to create the invoice. We'll go ahead and prepare that invoice. And from here, we of course can print the invoice. And of course, from here, we can release the invoice as well. So if we look at our actions, we can then release the invoice. So there's our process. So let's go back to our agenda. So again, we've gone through this process. We've entered a sales order. We've created the shipment. We took a look at the shipment document, the uh, confirmation. We confirmed the shipment, created the invoice, and we printed the invoice. 
Now back in Acumatica, we're gonna talk about how to do these things with multiple orders. So what I did was walk through a single sales order. So I'm gonna go back into enter sales order and let's just create another new sales order here. I'll choose the customer. We'll choose the item. I'll use that Acer laptop computer again. Notice our available for shipping is now 63. It was 64 a moment ago. We'll take one of those and we'll just go ahead and save this order. Now we'll go to the processing tab, processes, and we'll say process orders. So the first thing that's gonna come up here is what do you wanna do? And there's all these things we're gonna do, but the default is create a shipment. We'll go ahead and select the sales order I just created and we'll process. So from this screen, you can select multiple sales orders and process them and create shipments for all of those. And then we can go to process shipments and confirm the shipment or prepare the invoice. So now we can prepare the invoice, select that shipment and process that. So that has created the invoice and now we can release the invoice from here. So you don't have to do this manual process of going through each of those steps. You have the option to create a number of sales orders and then create shipments for those sales orders, confirm shipments for those sales orders, and do all that processing. One of the things that I want to mention that I'm not going to show you is that each of these tasks can be scheduled in Acumatica. So you could schedule a task to create the shipments in Acumatica at eight o'clock in the morning from all of the orders that were created yesterday or five o'clock that evening. And it'll just automatically do each of these processes for you to where you don't have to touch the system at all. You can just come in and then confirm those shipments if that's what you wanna do, just to tell the system that the items actually are shipping. And then those items will automatically come out of inventory. If you don't have that option selected to automatically create those inventory transactions, then you have to include in your processing that option to create those inventory transactions. Otherwise, they don't happen. The accounts receivable transactions will take place, but the inventory transactions won't take place. So we just went through two examples on how to process the orders. So example number one was processing an individual order and going through that process, starting with the order, creating the shipment, confirming the shipment, creating the invoice. And then secondarily, I showed you how to do that for multiple orders. So you can create a bunch of orders and then go through the same process without having to do it for one order at a time. Subscribe to our channel and user group on YouTube. See the hyperlink there. We're in LinkedIn or on LinkedIn. Contact us at NIMS Associates at the email address erp at nimsassociates.com and that phone number. Thank you very much for attending this session today. We really appreciate your time and your feedback. Have a great day.